Yo, yo, yo. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is the Upper Cup Podcast, and I want two special guests with me, bro. Mother Yen and Cheese Hello. and Mother Dooley G. Like that. Dooley G from Harlem. You know how to go. The king of Harlem. You know how to Hello, get right or get left. Me me. Yo, that was fire intro. Yeah. You know that. That's the yeah. drop. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yo. Yo, yeah, man, what's up, bro? Thank you for pulling up, man. Anytime, man. You a good guy. Like, oh, shit. Damn. Do the G's. Yeah. Put that money up. Nobody, you know, nobody know, need to know you got money, man. Put the in your pocket, man. Yo, Dooley, can I, can I, can I hold some? Yeah, I got you, man. You, no, right now. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. Pocket, man. Yeah. Where yeah. should end up missing? Look, look at Dooley right now. It's mad hard to get <laughs> Trying to put that money back. Yeah, Dooley. Damn. My son loaded. Pa Paul. Yeah, he's yeah, loaded yeah. with that brick. <laughs> yeah, Dooley. Yo, how'd y'all ever link up? You know, I want to tell you, man. You know, back <laughs> in 2009, yeah. you know, I just, I used to be a bum, bro. I didn't have nothing. If it wasn't for this man right here, I wouldn't have nobody. I'll still be a bum. I got over 4K followers. If it wasn't for him. You got 15 now. 15K. Because of Yemen. You know. How'd you meet Yemen? I met him uh, in Harlem when I was young. I was like 18. Right. How old are you right now? 27. Right. And then you met him in Harlem? He got me lit. He got me famous. And I just started doing me. I just started being me. Right. Right. What I told you. Be you and you're going to be a star. Right or right? Yeah. Take care of your business. Take care of the people that take care of you. Right. Yeah. Like, what was you doing I, before? Before that? Like, what was you doing before you met Yemen? You don't want to know. I want to know. I used to be a bum, man. What's it? Like, what do you mean a bum? What did, like, elaborate? Like, explain it to me. I used to pick up clips off the floor. You understand? I didn't have nobody. But that doesn't... Picking up the clips on the floor don't mean like, you know, like maybe, you know? He made me into a star and I I thank him for that. Right. I thank you. <laughs> I thank you for pulling up, bro. Dooley G's. Dooley G's. Huh? I always seen it in the mace. I knew I knew he was going to be somebody. <laughs> yeah? Right. Right. It's just like he needed the man power to push him up, to help him to know he's strong. Mm. It's just he been through a lot of shit. He takes a lot of meds. Oh, he does. Yeah, like before he wasn't like you know what I mean, like people think he's slow, but it's just the meds slow him down. But when he off that what kind shit, of what kind of meds was he? He taking? know more than I know. What kind of meds are you taking? It's like meds that help me focus. Like what? Do you know the name of it? I don't really like to talk too much about that on the camera. Right. Smart man. Right. All right. That's why I told you that nigga ain't dumb, bro. Right. You that, that nigga, Dooley Jesus. But yeah. I told you, you that nigga, man. Right. We gonna make it in this world. We gonna make that money. Yeah, Dooley. That money, the fast way. Yo, Dooley. Well, the how did you get that name? Way. I been had that name since I was eighteen. Oh yeah. Who gave you that name? Now, what was your name before that, though? Abdul. What was your name before that? Before My name. No, after Abdul. They called me Egg Boogie with the hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Boogie with the hoodie. Yeah. Why did not oh. you call you that though? Cause I had a hoodie on. Yeah. So you had a hoodie on. You ain't never. You ain't. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't never been listening. You was listening to a Boogie at the time. I'm in my bed now. In my bed now. Ooh. What the fuck is that sound? Yeah. Uh -huh. A hey, Boogie with the hoodie in the bed now. Uh -huh. In the bed now. Uh -huh. What the fuck is that sound? Ooh, it's your boy Dooley G's on everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, Dooley. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shit. She fucking turned into a karaoke night right now. Oh my god! Shit. Yeah, yo, I want to ask you too, real quick. Yo, did you ever fall off on a bike or something? Yeah. <laughs> you did? Someone asked me to ask you. He's like, yo, I lost my front teeth. <laughs> yeah. From riding a bike. So my kick my back well, man. Your front teeth. Your front teeth don't look like it's gone. <coughs> oh shit! Show them. Show them. 
It's all right. Nah, you can take it home. I don't want to do that. Right, 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 right. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. But how did you? Like, but don't worry. I'm gonna get it fixed. Right. I could get it for you. I could get it fixed for you. I told you he's scared. I was gonna give him some veneers and all that. Right. And then for, you know, for, for promotion, <laughs> it's okay. We gonna get it for free ninety nine. Oh shit! You was scared. Now it ain't free ninety nine. The nigga don't need the promotion yeah. no more. The nigga lit. Yeah. He want that brick now. Yeah. <laughs> he want at least twenty for Dooley. Oh my god, yo, Dooley! Someone kicked you while you was riding the bike. I should have listened to my mother, but I didn't listen to her. She told me not to go down the block, and look what happened to me. I'll let, that's karma for me. Why? For not listening to your mother? That's karma. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to always be Dooley. I'm going to always be me regardless. Right. Right. No, that's good, Dooley. Yo, you, you don't, don't say always do you. Because there was a picture of you sitting like a oh. dog. Huh? Yeah, you was like on the like on the floor, like a dog. What? Nah. What the fuck is you was doing, bro? Yeah. You making me look bad out here. I don't remember that. Oh. Oh man. See the weird things that's going on on fucking live. Mm-hmm. I don't know about. I'll show you. Oh man. I was on the floor. I don't know what the fuck you was doing on the floor, bro. You got a, you got what? You got pictures of you on the floor? What you was doing? Nothing. You was doing it for the live. You trying to get some money? Nah. Yo. What you was doing it for? Oh, you was doing push-ups. Oh, that was just a uh four... He was doing push-ups. No, 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 no. That was a 420 picture. You was doing push-ups, right? No, I was leaning down so they could take the picture. You was bending over. It was a picture. Bro, who the fuck told you to do that, bro? Me. Who I, thought she was, I thought you was doing push-ups. <laughs> that looked like you was doing push-ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. did. Wait a second. I thought that was push-ups. <coughs> no. So I think it just told you to do that. Nah, it was a 420 pitcher. That's a 420 pitcher? Yeah. Good luck. Happy 420. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Dooley. You love weed? You do? What got you into smoking weed? Huh? What got you into smoking weed? See, man, I've been smoking weed at 19. Uh, I'm going to tell you, um, I love weed because I love how it makes me feel. It makes me feel good. How does it make you feel? Makes me feel like a star. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. a star. I'm a star. I'm a star. It does. Yeah, 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 dude. Mm. Oh my. Hello. 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 Hello over here. Yo. Hello over there. About to roll me up another blunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah do yeah, that. Yeah, roll up. No, let me show y'all how I roll. Yeah, yeah, show yeah. yeah. Do it. Show you, roll, you how. Show the people how you roll. Yeah, cause they wanna know. Yes. Get that shit. They zoom, never zoom. seen a real dually blunt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, show them how you do it, bro. Cause they never see it. Yo, get that shit cl- close up or something. The shit about the hit. You need some more weed? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> sure. It's that nigga Dooley G's on everything, Hello. nigga. Shout out to my man right here. Shit like that. Uh-huh. Ask him his name. What's your name? You don't know my name? I forgot. Oh my God. One thing about him, he don't know nobody's name. Tiger. Tiger. Shout out to Tiger, nigga, for, on everything. Get right that. or get left, nigga. You shitting me or fucking kidding me, nigga. Yo, yo, don't he gotta pay me for my drop? That's my old drop. 100%. But he don't gotta pay. He family. Yeah, he family. But he gotta make up his own shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. Let up, me bro. show y'all the blunt. Yeah. Yo, you didn't even break the weed. Nah, that's. You don't have to do that. What? Look, I'm I'm gonna show y'all something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, easy trick. Why? I'm about to add the gravel. Uh huh. How much gravel do you get, put? Get closer to the um. Yeah, yeah. Get, put get it closer. on the floor. You get to put it on. Oh the my god! Holy shit! You gotta shit. show them. You gotta show them. Put it right here. Yo, yo, no, nah, no. Nah, let them do it. Let them do it. Let them do it. Nah, I ain't want that shit to fall. Nah, fuck it. You see? Oh my god! I just got him that brand new shirt, man. Oh my! You did? 
Tuh. <laughs> shit about the fluts. Oh shit. Oh. What the fuck? Yo. Shit about the pull heavy. No, what are you doing, dude? It's how you pause the roll. For real? Yeah. Oh shit. Gotta break it. Uh-huh. And then you gotta burn it. Uh-huh. Like this. What the fuck? Oh my god. Yo, you roll that shit in like 30 seconds. You gonna smoke that shit in 30 seconds too. And he gonna smoke half of it. Cause you know he ain't crunch it up, so this shit ain't gonna pull right. So as soon as and then tsh, good luck. It's gonna pull. Oh shit. He's smoking oh, nugs right now, <laughs> mad gravel. <laughs> wow, gravel. He smoke. He think he's smoking the weed right now. He just he smoking, is smoking the, the weed. Yeah, he's smoking the gravel with the weed. <coughs> yeah, that dude. shit punching. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so how? Like, so is he Arabic? What, what is he? I my think he a Jew. <laughs> my, I think he a Jew. Look, my name is Abdul, but you see, it's a long story. I mean, what? I, I think he a Jew or he Arabic. One of those. I think he a Jew or Arab. That's probably his mom went to one of them corner stores and got her little eye. Right, she didn't have enough money to get right, so she went to the back Yo. and came with this nigga and left that nigga on somebody's doorstep. No, no, shut up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. Yo, but like, what made you like help him though? Like, honestly though. Like what made you put it, put him under you? I seen him. Like, I but, seen but him why him? Him. Like, I, like you know, like there's millions of people. Like why him? I don't know, it was just there. I was going. I was vulnerable at the time, going through what I was going through. That's mm -hmm. the time I had got shot up with shanks. So like I knew oh, him. Oh, that's who, oh. I knew him before, but I was now at this time. I was at in his block where he lived at, and I was staying at the store on 113th. Mm. And basically, I used to go to the park. Always wash him. He always beg everybody for weed. Nobody give him nothing. Everybody joking on him. He look closed, all dirty, beat all the up, time, all the time. So you're the one, really. So I'm like, let me help this kid out. Ain't nothing, you know. It's, it's nothing, you know. I had weed. The, the weed that he won back in the days, he won top shelf right now. Right. You can't get that nigga no dirt. You can't get that nigga nothing. Yeah. He won za. Top za. shelf is the best. He won top shelf high right. tolerance. Right. And we talked about you before. You spoiled him. Yeah, so in the, no, in the beginning, I used to give him shake, shake. Yeah. I used to, all the clips I used to have, I used to put them together, roll up. So, you know, my people used to come around. I used to put them on Instagram, made an Instagram for him. And, you know, I got mad fans. People come see me. Yo, I want to see Duty G's. Give him weed. And he got addicted to good weed. Right. So you get that nigga some bullshit. I don't smoke that. <laughs> smoke that. But, right. yeah, I, I seen him start dressing him up. I had a clothing line at the time, so I was... You know what I mean? Getting him right. Right. No, that's what's up. That's what's up. A lot of people, you know what Do I mean? you see him as a father figure? Hell no. Oh, you said me? He, I just, no, oh, him. Oh, oh. I thought you said me. Nah. Yeah, this kid can't even be a father to himself. I lost my father, though. How? Huh? Oh, really? When I was 15. How? He died in the hospital. Oh, shit. Sorry to hear that. All right. And it's dope that, you know, you got Yemen on your side, yo. That's dope. That he put you under the wing and you know he helped you out and shit. I don't know what's nuts for me. Um, I I think there's a lot. They, they, you, you, if you, you know he's you know, you gotta explain your story. You gotta let them know from from you know from from since you was a baby where you come from. Where you where, where you, you was born? Where was you born at? One fourteenth. You was born in Harlem. One fourteenth and seventh. That's wow. not where you was born at. Yes, I was. <laughs> that's that's where you from. I I was born in Mount Sinai Hospital and. Harlem. I came home 10 days old when I was a baby. You came to my mother. Do you still, with your, your, do you still with your, live with your mother right now? Yeah. That's the lady that adopted him and took been taking care of him since he was eight. How, how many days? 10 days old. He was 10 days. Where's, you, where's his real parents at? He don't know. We don't. That's why I said his, his mom was probably was an Arab or she was probably a Jew. We don't know. But his mom right now, she been taking care of him and she been doing a lot and I appreciate her for that and God bless her. Right. Because she been doing a lot for this boy and she's old. She don't got time to be dealing with no grown ass man. Especially right now. He got to 
grow up now. You heard? Right. And he could do it. He got the fan base. He could get money. You feel me? It's not like he not getting, you know, they give him money every month, you know? Yo, what's what's up with that guy, Concrete? Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> nah, he been taking care of that I, nigga. Yeah, I heard that he been giving you a lot of money. That nigga been taking care of that nigga. I looked at that nigga cash app. That nigga probably sent him over 20 to 30,000 already. How come? I heard that you talking mad shit about him. He be talking shit about me too. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, he do he do that to the people that take care of him. Why you do that? And that shit is Yo, bad. Concrete gave you mad money and Con- shout, shout out to, out to him. He was and talking about everybody somebody. Else. Yo, and shout out to everybody else that been taking care of Dooley. Because if I'm not there, like my peoples and the fans and the people that look up to me, right. they do they do the part. They know I, I do everything already. They That's know dope. this kid is already dealing with so much shit and this kid still be talking shit. But they still, you know, they, they, they basically take that monkey off my back. Right. Um, right. Shout out to my fans and my people that take care of them. Right. Nah, like... Yeah, nah, I'm going to tell you something about Concrete. Like, he yeah. was talking about Patty. And... <sighs> Patty. Who's Patty? Who's Patty? Patty is a girl that's been taking care of me. Right. Giving me money and stuff. Right. Taking me out she, to eat. Right. And he was talking about her. She ever gave you some she, pussy? She... No. Wow. That's she girl, I don't right? look at her like that. I'm... I'm respecting her privacy. How old is she? 39. And I'm 27. Right. So what? I love Patty. I care about her. I love her energy. I love what she do. So what does that have to do with... Shout out to Patty. Right. But what does that have to do with Concrete, though? Concrete gave me his last, and he feel like that she's not giving me nothing. But I tell her the reason why I wanted to come to you... I wanted you to meet her, but the fact that I got Yemen, I'm just doing me, man. I'm doing me. Like, right, right. I love everybody. I fuck with everybody. Right. If I wasn't me, I wouldn't have nothing. So why you talk shit about the nigga that helped you and you talk shit about me too? Right. Why do you but do I don't that? care, to be honest with you. Why do you, why do you know, talk shit about him? I know because you have a problem. I'm not right. talking listen, shit about listen, him. Listen, if I didn't know you have a problem, I wouldn't fuck with you. You feel me? I right. just like, I take it for what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I choose to fuck with you because I know you have problems. So I'm not going to let that shit come between us. Because even if you talk shit, I know Did you, you ever talk shit it. about Yemen? No. I Hell love him. Yeah. You I can go to YouTube him. right now. He just now. said no. You can go to YouTube right now and put Yemen cheese and Dooley cheese, or uh, uh, the, the Dooley G's talking shit behind Yemen back. It's mad shit on YouTube. Why do you do that? You know people screen record every... Every time he go yeah, live. Yeah. And he think it's me running that YouTube page and I ain't getting a dollar for that shit. Whoever's <laughs> running his YouTube page, man. Yeah, somebody get that nigga put, his somebody put money, me man. on YouTube, man. I'm supposed to get paid for this. Get yeah. that nigga his money, man. Tell that nigga you doing a podcast, man. Let me holler at him. Yo, yo, who money? My son doing a podcast right now, man. We busy, man. We busy right now. You got All right, send him, uh, send him, send him fifty dollars first. Tell him to send me some money first. Send me some money. Send me some money. Yo, yo. Yeah. Send me some money. Send me some money. Take it. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yo, speaking, um, you know, I, 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 this is the last time I'll ever on camera I'll ever ask you. But speaking of chinks, right? When we did that interview, a lot of people was shout like, out to them. <laughs> they had a lot of things to say, and I'm just gonna say like three quotes: good, bad, <laughs> good, I bad. Don't care because at the end of the day, I'm still living my life and I take care of the people that need to get taken care of. Shout out to Chink's mom, shout out to his wife, his family, his kids. Why? Shout That's out to all, all that them. matters. You feel me? 100%. 100%. As long as they, you feel me? Like, as long as, you know what I'm saying? They voice and they, their opinion matters. Everybody else don't really fucking matter. Why are they saying that it's so sus? They're like, yo, and that has the most likes on, the, on, on that interview. It's like yo, this shit sound. Cheese, man, man. Shout out to Yemen Cheese, man. I'm that nigga, man. I'm just trying to stay out the eye. They're like, <laughs> it's all right. They're like, yo, it sounds hella sus. You just doing you, making you happy. Exactly, man. Huh? 
they just want me to make them happy. I'm not trying to make them happy. And at the end of the day, when you ask me, like, I'm in, you know what I mean? When you ask me about certain shit like that, man, yeah. like, you know, like, that shit, you feel me? Like, it's not regular. It's not a regular question, you know what I mean? That shit really... That's fact. Like, I, that shit really, you know what I'm saying? It's touchy, you know what I mean? I start thinking and the shit start making me sweat, <coughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, shit bring me back to that day. And nobody ever been in that in that predicament <coughs> to even question Gosh. or think how I'm talking or think how I'm feeling, you know what I'm saying? Because <coughs> I was there, I almost died, and I tried my best to save me and him. And I'm strong, and God got a plan for me, you know what I'm saying? And God got a plan for for everything, not just me, for everybody. Right. Everything is meant to happen. Everything is written already. Mm-hmm. So that's how sometimes I look at it. Like, you know what I mean, I got past all that shit that everybody, yo, he's this, he's that. You feel me? I was like the closest <coughs> people that I looked up to. You feel me? Like, I had to just move on. Like, if you, if you ain't fuck with me for who I am, yeah, that's that grabber. And if you can't feel my pain, and if you don't feel a story, you feel me? Like, no, I know that that like, but you know what I mean. It's still it, it don't bother me because I don't even be checking the comments because I know it's a lot of it's, it's gonna be a lot of that going on because it's the media. You feel me? Right. And, they, and and it's just that's what they go weird. for. And you know, at the end of the day, I haven't did no no interview with nobody. They want to know what the fuck this guy been doing. You know, they want to know. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. it's not like they know, like, I don't tell them my story. Whoever follow me, follow me on the gram. But mm-hmm. a lot of people that don't follow my Instagram, you feel me, that know about me off that situation, they want to know. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's because I don't put a lot of stuff on on YouTube and uh, that's like one right. of my first. So right now we come up with some shit that's going to be. Because they want to know what's going on. They want to know my life story. They want to know what happened, what really happened that day. They want they want to know. They noisy. Right. Just the right. the media. Right. And like I said, I, I'll never bring it up, but I get yeah, I, I can tell. Yeah, but I don't I, have, like, I'm, I, I, I'm clean. The people that did something with it, you feel me? They in jail already. In right. the situation, don't got nothing to do with me. That shit is clear. That don't right. have nothing. 100%. I was just wrong place, wrong time. And, and it's just so I crazy. I had to suffer it. I know. I, to, like, I know. That, I and then it's just so that crazy that, that the people's so, like, yo, it's suspect. It's so crazy. This, yo, he's involved. Or he's this. I'm like, yo, listen. bro. Like, he just had, didn't he just say that he had a child two weeks before this? And I was in it. I was in the room with millionaires mind you when that shit happened like everybody turned their back on me mind you now I was thinking oh I'm about to be that nigga I'm about to get rich my family about to be good and everything went back to zero it's nothing like you feel me I don't have nothing this the plan I thought I had you feel me in the industry you know what I mean it was gonna help my situation it's just like damn like Mm. you always gotta have a plan B though Right. It's for everybody, you feel me? Like, even with these young people that's starting to rap, like, you're not going to blow up overnight, you feel me? Like, yeah, and then you got to have, like, a, like you said, a plan B you and gotta other things. You got to have a plan B. You can't just be a rapper. You can't be around these. You got to have, you got to have a motive. You got to have, I, if this don't work out, I'm going to connect with this yeah, or that, exactly. that's do why other I things, do the That's weed, why I always been in the stores, you feel me? And I always been, like, you know, I always been working. I'm a working man, regardless. You feel me? So you got to be a hustler. You feel me? So I always some people are not hustlers, though. Exactly. So at the end of the day, but like, you got to still gotta stay find relevant. A way. Right. You got to find a way. If you're not hustle, you got to find a way. You always God always gonna give you a gift. You feel me? Right. You always gonna have something. People on for the you. table. You can put yeah, something on the you table. You can put bro. something to the table. You right. good at something. You feel me? You just got to know how to use it and utilize it and bring it to the table to the right people. Mm. That's it. Or someone sees it just like how you saw it in him. Exactly. You feel me? And he was nothing. Like, you know what I mean? At the end, he was fucked up. I'm like, all right, I could build an Instagram for him. Wow. Clean him up. Wow. It's going and I'm and a lot of people know me. They follow me already. So I'm gonna use my fan base and the people that's following me. They wanna see shit like that anyway. You, right. Right. you know what I'm saying? It like I'm like, I might as well, you feel me, help him <laughs> and put it out there and give him and make him a fucking platform. And the people and, and the people that he was dealing with already, like I had, like he was dealing with the Miyagi's and those the little young young cool over there. I had signed like basically it was like my artists. Oh well. So they was all fucking with him. You know, it's not like he was by himself. He had basically went out. 
started fucking with them, they was all fucking with him. They seen that was like, I treated him just like how I treat them, but I, you know, I love him. Like I take care of him. So they see how I take care of him. So they do the same thing. So everybody just seen it and everybody just moved on. And everybody treats that nigga good now. Mm. It's not like, oh, nah, like they see him. Oh, Dooley G's. They, you know, it's always good to see Dooley G's. Right. Good and bad. Like, cause he always gonna laugh. He's always gonna get something out of him. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. Even if he asks and beg and still, he's always good to come around. Right. I'm a good spirit. You are. Right. That's good. That's good. Yeah, man. Yo, do me. Shout out to the people that doubted me. <laughs> yeah. Some shit like that. Uh huh. And shout out to the people that did it doubted me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to my real rights that always stick by my side. You know who you are. Yo, Dooley, you know, and I got I got a couple of questions that they want me to ask you. Yeah? You ready? Yeah. All right. Grab so, to the blunt. Uh, he has it. He has it. He has it in the year. It's still, oh, look at that. Still lit. Still lit. Hell yeah. That's just still punching. It's still he punching. Just, Yo, Dooley, the people want to know, right? They want me to ask you, what's one times, two times, three? How much you got to give you for that? Fuck all that. Answer that. One times, two times, three, dude. Yo, bro, tell him you're not answering that till he give you some money. Can you give me plus? No. Yo, times. Look at me. One times, two times, three. Huh? Then five. You're close. Close. Ten. No, look. <laughs> yeah, close, 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 man. I'm trying to tell you, look. All right, fine. How about what's what's two two times two I've been trying to times tell two? Him. Four, I think. <laughs> right, right. It's close enough. And they told me to what's hundred minus ten? I don't know, man. Oh, you don't? When he don't take his right. meds, you gonna know all that. Right, 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 right. Right now, he not. Oh, you, you, you're not good with math. Nah. Oh, okay. Bro, he. Oh my God, I gave that nigga a pound a block one day. Bro. No, he didn't. He, he sold did? that nigga for twenty. He sold it for twenty dollars and came to my store and bought a dub with it. <laughs> go Yo, to stop. Go playing. to YouTube. Go to YouTube. Uh, and then what? Oh man. What do I, I just, type? Just put Dooley G sell a pound for twenty dollars. Dooley G's sell a pound. 45. Come on, son, please. That's the one video? That's the one video. I think he went live with money. Yo, bro. You wait, so you gave him a pound, the shake. a whole pound. And then shake. you sold it? It wasn't shake, it was just black work. Okay. And then you sold it for 45 bucks? What you did with it? He sold it to my aunt next door. <laughs> she came up on that shit. She sold wild, wild, wild downs off that shit. <laughs> oh, shit. And then you got the, you got the za. After yeah. that, <laughs> he could have stand in front of the spot and sold all that shit and made a thousand dollars. Yeah, but not you, that's your fault. That wasn't my fault. I gave him the plate, get money. It's your fault. It's, it's your fault. fault. <laughs> that was for him to really just smoke. Yeah, he didn't want that. He want, I told you, he got bougie. <laughs> he want top shelf. He want za. Yo, what's the most craziest thing you saw him do, bro? Huh? What's the most craziest thing you saw him do? I don't even want to say it's not for No, come on. Yeah. Nah, please. No. Nah. What? No. Nah. Ask him. What's the craziest thing you ever did? No. Nah. <laughs> Yo, dude. <laughs> I'm ready you answer it. You Yo, probably dude. did a couple things, but you can answer one or two. He did shit some, oh my God. No, nah, tell me a funny, give me like a funny story that you always remember. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> tell him something. 
<laughs> Yo. Ask him the question again. I think he forgot. Ask him the question again. I think he forgot. What was the most illest thing? What was the most craziest thing you did in Harlem? Sounds better, right? Talk your shit, do it. Just have, I mean, have somebody with me at all times. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Matter of fact, since of the illest shit that happened on his birthday, I was Ooh. in Miami. Matter of uh-huh. fact, what I was, nah, I was in Cali. Uh huh. I was in Cali. It was his Some birthday. Some girls topped me off. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Uh, yeah! All right. Dude, yeah. she shout out DM and cheese for that. Yeah. I had to send that bitch some breath for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had to send that yeah. bitch some breath for that. That shit was fire. Yeah, it yeah. was all right. It was all right. It was all right. Whatever happened with that? I don't fuck with her. <laughs> She's no m- more with Dooley G's. Right. So you kicked out the curb. Yeah. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, tell, tell her. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, nigga. yeah. And it was Fuck another time. Bitch. And it was another time. Uh huh. Who 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 paid? Who paid? Who paid? Who Millie paid? Millie Rock. Millie Rock. Shout out to Millie Rock. Shout out to Millie Rock. I who what happened? With a crackhead? No, 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 no. Did you ever fuck a crackhead before? Uh, nah, this nigga prostitute. That's, this is, this is, oh, he ain't no different. virgin no more. He, yeah, yeah, right. That's different. <laughs> that's different. Where you seen that? Oh, where she gets at? Oh. The girl uptown, she mopped you. What she did? Wait, hold on. We we jumping too fast. You said a prostitute, right? How much did you but pay for that prostitute? He didn't pay. Millie Rock paid. Oh, paid like a hundred dollars. <laughs> you keep up to, you're not talking about. Mm-hmm. You paid. You paid a hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh well. I was like twenty four years old when I got it. Where were you at? Uptown. Uh, what did you do? Well, did how you- did you find her? They, she found me. <laughs> she found you. Oh shit! And then you paid her one hundred twenty dollars. A hundred dollars. And then what she do? She topped you. Yeah. And fucked you. Yeah. Uh, did you did you eat her did you eat her pussy? Nah. Why are you lying? I didn't. All right. Good. 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 You sure? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I don't eat pussy. Yeah. Right. Right. I like that. That's it. I get money. Yes. <laughs> after that, after that, no, no more pussy, right? Yeah, first no come the money that? first. You ain't got no put no pussy after that. I'm living my best life, like living I'm my good. best life. So right now, you 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 consider a virgin? Yeah, when I get a kid, How trust me, man. Oh, you gonna get a kid soon? Who you gonna get a kid by? Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Right. I like that. Energy. It's my choice. Right. I fuck with Dooley, B. Nah, I fuck with him. It's his choice, hundred percent, hundred percent. You you pick you pick the you pick the bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Oh man, bro. Yo, yo, um, Yemen. You know, I want to ask you about the uh, real quick about the Delhi situations too. You know how the weed game, right? You know they just closed down another hundred uh, shops. Last Shout week. out to them, man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I shut my smoke shops down too because I got a license. Like, I'm about to get a dispensary. Wait, why did you shut your shit down? Because it got shut down. Yeah, no, nah, they didn't get shut down. Uh-huh. I shut my own shit down because right. I don't want to fuck my shit up. Right. Because I was out there wanting them because I was getting no. If I opened up a dispensary. I wasn't gonna get no money because everybody you type in the dispensary, a uh, hundred smoke shops will pop up and one, two, three dispensaries will pop up. You feel me? So right. like they I, was we talked the, about that. Before. That was gonna fuck my money up big time. So I'm like, I'm if you can't beat them, you gotta just join them. You feel me? So uh-huh. before it get too critical, so so now you got I'm, the license? Yes, I'm How opening one in Brooklyn. I'm right. opening one in Brooklyn and and um in a couple months. So what do you think about all those delis though getting shut down? Like. I mean, they had their low, they had their low run. That's it. That's it. Yeah, they had their run. But then, but they don't they have to pay down? the fines after? They nah, get- they're not getting even shut down. It's just because they they selling um tobacco and all the flavored, all that shit that you smoking that flavor shit. They not supposed to be selling it. The, like the, the Dutches, the, the backwoods, and and the pens too. All that the 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 vapes and all right, that. The vape, they're not the supposed to, because in New York you're not supposed to be selling no flavor. Even at the end of the day, like when I was selling them, like cops, all type of people was getting them. You know they regular, but now they passed the law where you can't. Where you got to go to a different state to even fucking get that shit. So now y'all asked out. 
Everybody wow. has stout, so you know oh. what I'm saying. At the end of the day, you know that's why they're selling banana like and all those flavors for more. Yeah, they can't even sell no flavors no more. You feel me? What so the if they sell flavors, they come and give you a fine, and you gotta well, pay how much for that is a fine? fine. I don't know. It's a, I ain't never get a fine, so I don't know. You never got a fine. I never got a fine. Stop lying. How many delis you own? Like five, ten? It does I don't do none of that shit. All my delis is legit. Because I, I, know I know that, but like, come on, like yo, all that. Like, look, look. My, you my, just my, said that you sell the cops to like you selling my smoke shops when I have all my smoke shops. Was open, yeah. but then you you tell me you didn't slip on one time with like undercover no, selling like no, Lucy. Because, listen, they come. I wasn't selling Lucy. Or maybe selling undercover like to a kid, like he didn't. Nah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. This is like I open my stores in my locations in my neighborhood, so I know who's coming in and uh, who's not. But then, then I right, say that you have three dollars. You can't know everybody, and when you you have three dollars, I'm not selling. They they only coming in there if somebody calls or you selling to minors or you bike next to a school or you next to the church or people complain if you don't get no complaint they're not coming to fuck with you oh you understand so i haven't been, been getting no oh. complaint i don't sell to oh. minors oh, okay. i take care of it like you know i have events for the neighborhood you're i'm right. not just in the neighborhood just getting money right i take care of the people that's around me when they see me you know it's love like, right it's not you know they wouldn't even you know what I mean? They don't look at it like that when the name when you open up a store like that in the community, you have to be part of the community. You feel me? If you're not, they're gonna just get kick you out the community. Just like that. You come in, you getting all of this money, you're not taking care of the kids, you're not taking care of the community, you're not giving jobs to the people that's living around here. You're not, you know, you're not putting you're just, nothing to yeah, the table. You're right, just, you're just taking, you're you're taking, taking our money. Right, you're, not, you're just taking not giving. Yeah, but I'm giving. Everybody right, know that I right, give. 100%. I'm, I'm 100%. I 100%. Even, the when community. You, even when you even come to this thing, you're like, yo, I'll pull up. Like, you know, yeah, and I can just tell. No problem. Like, like, right. right. You're, you're not like, yo, I want this or I want that. I'm like, damn, like, you just, you know, and you gave me the most views too. Like, it's all love, baby. Oh, yeah, man. Can I get a nut? Yeah, I told you get some weed, man. You get the weed man right there. Look, he got oh. a whole sack for you, baby. Do the oh. cheese. Do the cheese. <clears throat> Come on, dude. Yeah, I got so you. Pit, though, so they, I got they, more for you. So they hit spots like that. That's around churches, around the uh, schools, around uh, around people that's complaining. So they're gonna come check you out if somebody call and complain. Right. So I've been good lately, like I said. Yeah, you can't open. And the delis I opened up. Right. Is like legit. They make good sandwiches. Oh I'm, shit. Shit. You got I'm, it. I'm about to open up a chocolate factory. I told you. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I'm about to open up a coffee shop. You, you, you know, can you, can you like, uh, one more thing too. When it comes to these delis, can you tell me like the pros and the cons of like, like say that I want to open a deli, right? Like, you know what I mean? And I would yeah, definitely I come to lie. you. To be honest, if you want to do that, you can't like. Tell me I, the pros I, and the I'm cons. I'm going to tell you, like, like, you can't the, just do the, it by yourself. What do you mean? I can't do it by myself. Not, not saying it like that. You can, but you have to have the knowledge. You got to know everything. You got to know the ins and outs because... Ins and outs of what? You got to know the wholesalers. You got to know who to go to. Oh. You got to know where to get your shit. You got to know where to get your workers. You got to know... Because if you got to... You open up a store, you don't got no good employees. You don't got no the right deli man. You don't got the... You, you're just gonna just and small businesses like that that people that don't know they they shut down. Ah. So you gotta and like if you're gonna invest your money, you'd rather invest it with somebody that know and let him take care of the spot and invest with him. Or if, you know, cause you can't do it. you can do it by yourself if you have the knowledge. Got if it. you don't have the knowledge, you had you got the, you gotta invest it with somebody. You gotta partner up with somebody that know something about you, you that. You tell lifestyle. me I can't just learn like you can buy, go buy. This is what myself. I'm trying to tell you. You can learn. Mm -hmm. But you got to learn before you invest your money. You feel me? Got it. You say right now, you you got money. You about to invest. You go open up a spot. You will spend $100,000, 200000 how much does it How much does it cost usually to open up a deli? To open up a deli, it's about $100,000, 200000 yeah, It depends, it depends yeah. on how much you want to put up in it. The type because... But it goes from a hundred or to two hundred. Yeah, because uh, double trying to open up a deli. But it why is it double? Because like it, it why you're telling me a hundred or two hundred? Like to me, if about, I'm trying to put depends, money, it depends about the the space. <laughs> Right. They, they gotta do construction. Right. They gotta fix the the the, the grills. They gotta fix the deli. They gotta get refrigerators. They gotta get everything cost. So it, you know, the the biggest spots you got, the more money you gotta spend. Mm. The smaller spot, you know what I mean. The less money you have to spend. Mm. All of these smoke shops that came in the game, they was not spending up. a lot of money. You heard? 
they was not spending a lot of money because they didn't have to buy a lot of shit. Because the deli, you have to spend a lot of money. You just the the ventilator by itself wow. up to forty fifty thousand. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes you got to go through the roof. Right. Sometimes the, the the management don't let you do it through the roof. You have to install one in the store, so it's gonna cost you double the price because wow. they don't got to go through that. You know, you buy right. Right. a machine that's doing all that in your store. Got it. So and then you know it's it's a lot. We like, but what's the pros about opening up a deli? Like, not the money, but like, like, what, 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 what like, you, you just gotta know the ins and outs. Go to somebody that already runs. No, a I deli. know, but like, like, what's like the good part of opening up the deli? I'm saying, what's the good part of opening the up good the deli? part? I'm gonna tell you right now. As soon as it's up and running, yeah, is uh, basically. <clears throat> it's good because they give you they give you a lease for ten to fifteen years, so you be able to get that money for all of that. You know, as long as you keep paying your workers, keeping the store full, you always gonna have revenue. You always gonna have money coming in. Got it. So as long as you get that, and you but why is it why is it a ten or fifteen? Like why is it ten or fifteen year lease? Ten, no, I'm saying it depends about the right. man, it depends about the building management. How right, much, right, right, right. How much the how much they gonna give you depends right, right, how right, right, right. the contract you, <coughs> right. give, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. With them. Right. But I'm just saying from my experience, mm. I got my the most I got was 15 years. Mm. So you can get you know you could push it, but you know at the end of the day when you do push it, is they're gonna go up up the rent. But for 15 years, the rent is gonna be cheap. Right. Got you. So, got 50, it, got so in 15 got years, now, like, everybody gonna catching. pay double or more. Oh, in that area, and I'm paying cheap. You feel me? And I still got that area, and I'm still making the, the whatever people that's you know they paying more rent, they paying you know what I'm saying. Everything I did was cheap already. It was right. You know but then saying? when but when the the rent is getting higher, don't don't you think like they're gonna stop you like going to the delis as much? When it's like inflation right now, like like no, nah, the no? deli's got everything that you need. Mm. Like you need the deli. Deli's got everything that you need. A deli grocery got sandwiches, got groceries, got credit card, EBT, got tap to pay, got everything, everything. that you need. So and they do deliveries now. They do. So yeah, you don't even gotta leave your house. But then ah, uh, but then like I, right, but then I'm gonna tell you the cons. Like you know, like there's like a lot of stealing. Going it on. is, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. You got to know, you got to have a good workers that, you know, in the community, you got to yeah. have, you can't just open up a store in the community and think, you know, have somebody. Any delis. I yeah, get, you, you could be in the Asian working. community. There's going to be yeah, Asian people, have, a bunch of people stealing. Have, like, you, they're going to have all that, but you, right. I know the blueprint to it. If I'm going to open something like that, I'm going to give people in the neighborhood a job to take care of the spot like it's there. So they're not going to let nobody steal. They're going to, and it. people in the neighborhood going to respect it and they're not going to do that because anything they need, they're going to ask and they're going to get it with no, they don't have to do all that. Right. But if you run in the business and you tight about a penny and you tight about, oh, you short 20, no, you're not going to, you're not going to go nowhere in life. Huh. I'm telling you, because people are going to stop because you, you're in the community. You're not downtown. So, you know, you're not somewhere where there's people you're not going to see. This is people that you got to see every day. They when they money, they got money, they're gonna come. When they don't got money, they're gonna come. Did, did you ever have problems ever? Like in Hell yeah, I had like, problems. Like what? Give, always, me, like, give me give me one. Like what? Man, I was working one day in the deli, right? Mm. This is after the chink situation. Uh -huh. I was making sandwiches and everybody know me, you know, right? It's my neighborhood. Right. So I think some of the girls from the neighborhood just came out the club. And it was like six, seven was late. of them. It was late. Yeah. And one of them came to order the sandwich in the um, you know, people order the sandwich. She came right in um uh, on the side. On the side. She yeah. ordered the sandwich. She, she telling me her order. And my baby mom's walked in. She went crazy. Yo, you flirting with this girl, you with this girl. Ah, so it was some big shit. They had a she fought all of the girls, bananas Stop. going everywhere. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, I'm telling you, the bananas, she <laughs> start throwing bananas at them, the glass jar, the pickles. Oh, I'm like, yo, the whole <laughs> store. Was, yo, why what? is it bananas and pickles? It was so bananas, big, pickles. <laughs> Cause this is the deli, it's all the all the all the fruits and shit. 
But yeah, there was a big ass fight. They turned the fucking store up. <laughs> then the boyfriend came to the store trying oh. to break it up. And his he said his wallet fell. So I had to give him like $200. Oh my. And that's my man. So, you oh. know what I mean? Like, it was in, you know what I mean? Like, he came like, yo, bro, your girl did all of this. And you know, you know, you my, that's my wife that came to you. I know you not. You feel me? Like, right. I'm like, smoke, you know what I mean? Like, so, like, in those girl. type of situations, it's just like so yeah, crazy. It's crazy because right. now you got a girl and you run a <laughs> business, they pull it up because you got to be nice to the customers, you know what I mean? They right. see that, they not, what? There's a problem. Man. So, I had problems of almost like every other day because of the girls coming in. And Do I you learn to, a lot of patience when nobody? Yeah, oh yeah, you have to. You have to have patience because people come with different problems and right. you got to deal with their problems. Right. You got to know how you, because, and you got to know. You gotta have that energy, that, like that oh, I hate that. Yeah, you gotta have that instant. I right, this guy's going through some shit or whatever. Mm. You gotta, you know what I mean? Turn your kids. You can't be ah, because a lot of people be doing that and it fucks they shit up and it fucks they boss business up because they got they can't deal with the they can't deal with the people. So you yeah, you gotta deal with the people. You have to deal with the, the people. people. You gotta person. know how to deal with the people and them type of businesses like that shit because is. them delis. You got to know, you got to deal with the community. Right. And a lot of people, and, and a lot of, I'm going to keep it real, a lot of Arabs, they come and they they take over that because they know how to, you know how to deal with the community. They know how to hold it down. They don't, you know, they not too, you know, they not too You violent. think so? Yes. You oh, see, if they, we in every oh. hood. If you look, we in every project, every right. neighborhood, you see Arabs. Wait, it's because it. No, let me tell you because right. I'm telling you because they know a lot of Dominicans, right. a lot of Puerto Ricans was in that lane. They was dealing with stores, but they couldn't deal with it because they can't. We didn't want to fight with the people from the block no more. They right. don't want to go through that. We not from the block like that. We don't got families and all you just see is working 12 hours. We're going to sleep. We're coming back. Right. We That's don't it. got no problems. So right. the, the, the Hispanic and all the other, they got wow. family. So they... They have like it's a business, it's a family business. So they coming through with their family, going to school. So it starts bigger problem. Wow. It's not just because now you're bringing the business and then all the people into the family it. into it. So the Arabs do not bring any family they coming through to just get money and just deal wow. with the, the family. Their family is the customers, basically. You feel me? Right. The the people because they come from nothing and all they know is the customers and work. Hmm. Makes sense. Shit like that. Yeah. Shit like that. You yeah. Feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Dooley. Yeah. Because everybody want to be to come out here in, in, in America and they want to live. You feel what me? What was they it like for you? Life. Yo, Yemen. Yeah, what was it like for you when you was young? You didn't, shit. I didn't have shit when I was young. No, I had to work no, my no, ass off. And no. You, I'm telling you. No. When you was. My age, when like, I was your age, I was fucking with the coke boys. <laughs> <laughs> but look, but look. Do you think I can ever come big? Hell yeah. You can come bigger than me. Facts. I got I'm everything. I got everything. I got everything in the world that I can ever imagine about. And Pray to God, that's it. God Allah, Allah look over me. Allah. Right. God bless. MashaAllah. You are you religious? Duly? I understand God. Do you do you pray? Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. You do? That's good. Thank God every day. That's good. That's good. Pray for us one time. Pray for God, us one time. Please thank you for Yemen. Please thank you for you. Please thank you for everything that you have accomplished us. Thank you for actually supporting us in our life. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for actually really supporting everybody. Shout out to Cece, nigga, on everything. Shout out to... <laughs> Shout out to all the coke boys. Shout out to French Yo. Montana. I, was just, I, I thought it was real prayer. Did you said French Montana. Yeah, I, don't I, mean, I don't even know you like that, but I love you, man. I right. really, I really salute you. Why? Why French Montana? He's Arab, man. I understand Ooh. his. Ooh. I understand his culture. Right, right. Because of me, right, right. Yeah, he remind me of you. <laughs> yo, you keep on doing. <laughs> yo, and then Cece. Yo, what's up, with Cece? Yo, shout out to Cece, man. What's up, man? Shout out he, to he Faith. His sister. Faith. Uh, look, he just said peace. Yo, shout out to Face. Yo, don't bring Face into this. Do not. Yeah. She should have pulled up with him. She ain't gonna pull up. Yeah, she don't fuck with that nigga no more. Hell no. She don't fuck with you no more? Nah. <laughs> wow. She be busy. Yeah. 
She busy. She, she got tired. Shout out to Face. Shout out to CC. Yo, what's up with CC though? How, yeah. how did you meet him? I met him in the projects. <laughs> oh, what? You fuck with him? Yeah. Yeah, he, he fucked with you. He a good ball player. He, 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 you think? I bet you if I beat him one on one, I don't know who gonna win, me or him. I think me. Yeah, I think so too. I think what? I can beat him one on one too, basketball. But I'm older now, so I don't know if I still got game. Oh my. When was the last time you played basketball? When I was like 17. I used to play football. My, 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 my trap thing was 31 trap. <laughs> I was a center. A center? I used to play flag football. Oh, right. Where'd you play at? In Morningside Park. Morningside Park? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be out there. <laughs> I'll be out there. Yo, stop blocking motherfuckers on Instagram, bro. Why are you doing that? I don't know, man. Stop blocking them. Well, I'm block everybody on his Instagram. Yeah, I'm um, block everybody, bro. They go on your phone to unblock everybody. Come man. on, man. You, you could you have you, you got about three hundred dollars like, <laughs> or more. Block. Anybody say something funny, he found a block. Yo, block. yo, unblock them, man. They don't want to send me no money. Block. <laughs> Nigga send the money before. They don't want to send me money now. Block. block. <laughs> My boy tried to send the money. Block. block. <laughs> yo. Ah, uh, you don't want to send me no money. You can't. You can't view me. Fuck that. Unblock it, all of them. Unblock, unblock all, all of them. Unblock all of them. Fuck that. I think you only block. You can only unblock thirty right now. Unblock all of them, Dooley. Let them watch. Th they yeah. fans. They fuck with you, Dooley. Shit like that. You, Shit like you, that. You, you missing out on money. Hell yeah, you bro. You missing out on them cash apps. Facts. After this, right now, you gotta start. You Your gotta, shit's gonna go up. You gotta charge niggas. You gotta charge niggas at least five hundred for a shout out. Ooh. Shit like that. You heard? <laughs> 500. All right? Man. And some weed. And some grabber. Shit like that. Niggas charging 2,500. 500 good for you. Yo, yo Dooley, how many, uh, how, many, uh, how many grams are in an ounce? It's like seven grams. In an ounce? Yeah. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. How many ounces in a pound? Um, An ounce is like 4.5 Grams. <laughs> How much is the eighth? <clears throat> That's like five grams right there. Right. How much is an ounce? <laughs> an ounce is a big shit. Like you have a big bag of the shit. How many grams? That's like twenty grams in it. <laughs> Close. See when I asked him, it's different. Right. I mean, yeah, you know right. what's going on. You know, right. it's, it's, it's get smarter and smarter. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <stop. laughs> yo, what the f Yo, wait, hold on. How many ounces? Like uh, wait, how many grams are in the ounce? It's like 20, 20. grams in there. Right. It is. Yeah, with a little extra eight. <coughs> how many 20. how many grams are in an eighth? A 3.7. Oh, you got it. See? You oh got shit. It. You got it. You gotta give them that extra too. <laughs> Gotta give my man that yeah, extra. Yeah, that shit always went in my head. <laughs> yeah. Are you hot? This shit is fire, right? I'm smoking it. Yeah. I'm smoking it. You digging? Yo, Dooley, um, did you ever do any other drugs besides a weed? No, only weed. So you never tried like ecstasy? Nah. Molly? Yeah. Hey, Dooley. What you told me when I pulled the when I was in the car? What? All right. What did I say? <coughs> Oh man, I'm done. What'd you tell him in the car? I wanted to know if uh what? If I could get like 200. <laughs> Yo, 200 what? Oh, a do a hundred dollars or something like hundred dollars. Yeah. Of what? A, like money. I don't have money. Uh I got you like two hundred dollars worth of weed. Mm. You want that? Yeah. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I got you two hundred dollars worth of weed. What you want, the cash or the weed? Uh. <laughs> cash or the weed? The weed. 
Cash or the weed? I I picked the weed. Oh. That's a backward. Yeah, you like backward? Nah, I don't really fuck with I don't I don't I don't smoke. I yeah. I, 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 I put gravel and papers That's around it? it, yeah. The bar. He put gravel and paper around it. Like Why? he gotta put he gotta roll it and then put it gravel, around yeah. then put paper around yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Ask him. Why? Why do you like gravel so much? It it makes me think. It makes you smarter, right? It makes me smarter. What? I was trying to tell him. The gravel. So I'm I've been I've been used how to smart, how smart you been getting lately. I've been with that gravel? I've been used to the gravel all my life. It's not gravel. It's graba. I know, but when gravel, they, when gravel. they stop selling okay, gravel? gravel. Okay. Um <laughs> so you when you smoke it, you can become smarter? Yeah. Why do you say that? You sure? Nah. Like it makes me think. Think about life. <laughs> what you think about right now? Think about coming big. Think about coming hey, rich. Hey, hey, yo. Right. Having a mansion. Right. What you want to do in the mansion? I don't know, man. Like, just do whatever I could. Grow my own weed in there. Ooh, that's smart. You know how to do that? No. Nah, I never did that. Then by, then you're going to have somebody. You're going to hire somebody. Yeah. Right. And just grow the weed in your backyard? I, I want that high tolerance. <laughs> you going to have them working for you? Oh. High tolerance. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, um, he wants that high grade weed. I'm talking about from Cali. Mm. That, that's a brand, high tolerance. Yo, did you graduate school? I kind of got a IEP diploma. What? A IEP diploma. What's that? It's like a certificate. GD? No. Worse than that? It's like a diploma that shows you that you graduated. Yeah. So you graduated? I kind of aged out of school because of my age. Right. What do you, What do you What do you want to be? So you uh, graduated? Yeah. He, no. I want to be like Yemen. I told yeah, you that's you a, that's, be yo, that's no. You're not understanding. Yo, yeah, it's you're, a, not, it's, you're not. No, you, that's yeah. a, that's a hard like. You're not understanding. Shoot to, you, listen like, to me. Listen to me. I, I could, I'm listening. What? I could do it. I know I could do it. I have faith that if you could I, get big as Yemen Paul. I know I could. I don't know about that. Unless you fucking take him with you. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna be rich one day. Right. And I'm gonna give you half of my money. No, I, I don't want half of your money. I want you to. What, love I, you. what I'm gonna get? I want you. I'll, I'm gonna give you half too. Then what are you gonna get? I want you to. Uh, I'm gonna give you a couple of dollars <laughs> just for your pockets. Whatever you want to do with it. Yeah. How much? A couple of dollars. And like six hundred or seven hundred, <laughs> whatever you want. You're right. Yo, look, what kind of tattoos you got? You got tattoos and shit. Let me see. Only God can judge me. Yeah. What? <laughs> yo, that's the first, you know, you know those motherfuckers who be like, yo, son, I'm going to get a tattoo. You heard? You know, the first thing I'm going to get is like, only God can judge me. You heard? You know what I mean? <laughs> that's the first thing. They get. But um, only God can judge me. Yeah. And what else? I got my name, my mom name. Nice. King of Harlem. What? Oh. Who you know that's the King of Harlem? <coughs> king of Harlem? That's that's. I don't know. Who's the King of Harlem for you, young? Dooley G's. <laughs> Dooley. Dooley G's rap for Harlem. Right. He more lit than a lot of niggas I know. Facts. Facts. They've been doing it for years, and he just being him. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, yo, yo, did did you guys drop the tape? Nah, not yet. You know, when we drop, you gonna see. Oh my god! We on, um, we waiting for the cameraman so we can do the. Come um, on, we gotta bro. shoot all the videos. What the fuck, yo! We just got a new um. We just got the um. You hear me? We went to the studio <coughs> two nights ago to finish the last. I episode. got a song. He jumped on with Lil low TJ, low TJ, and um TJ Porter. So that ends oh, up. oh shit! Yeah, Damn. I ain't even supposed to say that, but it is what it is. That's yeah. why. Shit. 
It's about to be big. You know that there was like an interview where uh, just that just came out about uh, Shy Kid not fucking with TJ. Oh, TJ Porter? No, not TJ Porter, little TJ. Oh yeah, they all gonna fuck with little TJ. And I wanted to kind of like, yeah, you, are you gonna try to help bridge the gap, or you you just like fuck that shit? I'm 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 gonna mind my business. Who? You gonna try to help bridge like the gap? I can't do that. You can't. Yeah. yeah. Whatever it is, that's a young shit yeah. that they got going on. As long as I stay away from that, you feel me? But when I'm but around, but there's mad politics. When around, but mad politics when, when it comes around, to this music shit. When though. I'm around is or you feel me? Because we all got the same, um, like his manager and all that. That's my boy. We all, we all, it's all good. Right. It's not a problem, but like I said, if it's not a problem, it's not a problem. Mm. So just niggas making it to a problem in the media. But as long as you know what it is. Yo, Dooley, let's play a game, though. That's the game. Yo, where the weed at? Tell them where your weed at. Nah, nah. I ain't going to be disrespectful like that. Oh, I, I see a good guy, man. That's not disrespectful. You asking for your shit. I know, but I wait at the end. Oh, you going to smoke all his weed and then wait at the end? No, like I'm doing a video shoot. All right, so hold on right now. Look, he know he got weed right now, right? Right. Look at my clip, right? See my clip? Yeah, it's you like wanna, this. You want to see his clip? Yeah. <laughs> that was big in, in the shit He pressed it down He know he got weed So he don't give a fuck He used to smoke clips Bro what the fuck You clipping a whole blunt right now Oh my god Dooley Clip the whole blunt You know you could roll Another blunt with that Yeah You're not gonna do it You're fucking throwing the garbage that. He don't do that no more He do that when he fucked up probably But right now He don't think he fucked up He think he lit right now <laughs> About to go home with some weed I mean, you're going to give me money. Nah, that's not what I'm going to do. I already went out my way and brought you over here. Right. I ain't giving you no fucking money. Right. And I gave you I'm, I'm giving you mad I gave him a seven. Oh, shit. When he, like, just on the ride. Right. Uh, yo, I, I got and you I gave some him like three. Me. I gave him like I three, four, five, five grabbers. Me. You be all right. Ain't no money today, though. But um, since we... uh, I, I want to play this game. Don't show him the thing, though. Do the G's in the set right now. Hold on, hold on. Let's play right here. Let's play right here. OFO! <clears throat> oh shit, what the fuck y'all got going on? You ready, Dooley? Shit. The fuck you got going on? I hope there ain't no rats in that shit. Dude. I don't know. There ain't no rats. No, I was just trying to scare Dooley. Can you go right there, Kashi? Oh. Haul them, stack town. Yeah, stack town, nigga, G's up. Right. And then face that way. All right. You ready, Dooley? Yeah. This is for you. So if you get all this right, I'll give you, I'll throw in an extra ounce for you. You hear me? You heard? Yeah. So move the mic. Move it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the taste test, you heard? So if you get all these right, I yo, oh my goodness. You, you, man, I'm gonna throw in another whole ounce for you, yo. You hear me? Shit. Huh? Another whole ounce. Make sure you know what you, uh, what is it though, like? Juices? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Different type of juices? Yeah. No sodas? No sodas. I oh, ain't gonna know which one. So let's go for the first one right here on the left, on all the way to your left, to your right. What is it? S what? Suck on the straw. Pause. What's what's Let's it? See the phone, cuz. What's in it? It's juice. So you gotta figure out what kind of juice it is. Alright? Yeah, 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 dude. The first one. Uh-huh. Oh. No, no, wait, hold on, hold on, yeah. <laughs> What's the first one? What's that? 
Okay. 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 It tastes like vinegar. No. The second one. Second one. Second one. Yo, 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 can you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let the yeah. Straw, hold on to the straw. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, you, you have to keep on drink. You have to keep on drinking. Yeah. What is it? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh no. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Do the last one. Do the last one. Do the last one. Fuck it. Oh, fuck. Do the Yo, we gotta throw that out. Do 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 the last one. And if you get that right, you get that right. <coughs> It's like water soda. <laughs> one more time. Do it one more time. One more time. Do water soda. If you get this right, drink it. If you get this right, I'll give you the ounce. No! What is it? Um, like juice or something. What type of juice? Tastes like vinegar in it. No, it's beer. Oh, vinegar. I'll still give you the ounce. Turn it around, turn it around. Turn, turn it around. No, Slowly. No, 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 no. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do you need? Yo, 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 Kashi, take that. You got no, y'all got any sandwiches back there? <laughs> sandwiches? <laughs> you want a sandwich? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I got you. Um, what kind of sandwich you want? Hot salami, lettuce, <laughs> lettuce and mayonnaise on a hero. I got you. I got you. I got you. Shit. Sit down. Sit back down, dude. Yeah. Yo, good shit, dude. Yeah. Yo. <clears throat> Look. Boom! 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 Yeah, Dooley! Shit like that. Shit like that, Dooley! No, no, it's not an ounce. It's an ounce. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Dooley, man. It's supposed to be eight. It's more than eight. No, it's supposed you gave to be. me one already. Ooh. No, that was, that was for the eye. All right. I'm trying to... All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yep. Yeah, let's smoke one more time. Yeah, Dooley. Yo, you know what? Fuck it. You want this whole shit too? No, nah, I'll just taste one more of these. Okay, fine. You don't want no shake, bro? We can go nah, get it. I, I upgraded myself. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Yo. Yo, Dooley, what's your favorite food? I like um McDonald's, Domino's. McDonald's or Domino's? Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> Do you um, eat pork? I eat like pork chops. Did you eat salami? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I thought he was uh I told you this nigga don't know what the fuck he is, bro. <clears throat> he ain't not no Muslim. You're not Muslim? I'm probably in my I just don't know it though. <laughs> <sighs> We're gonna teach you, kid. Damn. Nah, dude. Nah, nah, dude, you in good hands though, you heard? God bless, you heard? You, God bless. You, God bless that you would fucking... God bless. You was fucking... Yemen, bro. Yemen is... <sighs> Yemen is definitely a good-hearted motherfucker, bro. He ain't gonna Shit do like you wrong. That. He ain't gonna do you wrong, you heard? I don't know. Shout out to the hood. Yo, Dooley. So you, you, you gonna get your... Hood... <laughs> Yo, Dooley, man. You're not breaking no weed, bro. 
Nah, that's how you supposed to roll. That's how he's supposed to roll. It's gonna hurt. Let me see. Do you remember the first time you ever got high, Dooley? When I was 19. That was the first time you ever smoked weed? I had Cali Kush. <laughs> that was the first time you ever smoked weed? I had Bubblegum Kush. Uh huh. And how did you feel Pineapple that first time? Pineapple Express. Uh huh. And you got mad high? Yeah. Mad high? Like how high? How high? <laughs> like how high? Real hot. What? Yeah, the weed is punching right now. Ooh, ooh. Damn. Yo, Dooley, slow down, bro. Good? That's from Cali. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it's from Cali, damn it. Oh, man. Yo. You use gravel? No. You want some? No. You, you, you don't want to try a little bit? No. It's good. I'm telling you. No. <laughs> All right. I'm, I, I use backwards. Oh. Uh, you don't use backwards? Um, nah. Nah. I use papers and gravel. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yo, do you, um, yo, who's your favorite uh, uh, artist? I like Wiz Khalifa, Snoop Dogg. Hey Boogie. Uh-huh. Um Who's your favorite rapper in Harlem? I don't really have no famous rapper in Harlem. Favorite. Duckets. Duckett. Duckets. <laughs> um Shout Yemen. out to Duckets. Yeah, yeah. Stack Town. Yo, what you think about Diddy? No Diddy. On my way. I don't know, man. I don't be into that shit. You seen that video? I'm being in the um Cassie. Yeah, nah, yeah, that's fucked up. Mm. But it what, is fucked you, up. You, you don't know what the fuck is going on there, man. <coughs> There's always two sides of the story. You know, and I don't know about in Yemen, right? But in like Korea, they don't, they don't beat up women. Hell yeah, in, 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 in Yemen for real. Hell no, you beat my sister up, I'm gonna come shoot you up, man. No, no, hold on. It's I'm not, talking no. about the husband. Yeah, but yeah, the, I'm you listening? No, are you yeah. listening? No, I'm telling you. Okay, tell me. I'm telling you. Yeah. If my father beat up on my mother, yeah. Something's it, gonna happen. There's like, a problem. It's, it's, yes, it's like brothers and mothers. No, no, I get it. I get it. Get it. Like, no, they I, can't I, just beat up on no, nobody's child. You cannot no, do that. No, no, I don't know, but I, I get it. No, like, that, that's, it, how, that's how. It's even if they grown, right, that's right. still somebody's. But in 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 the culture, I mean, in the you're Yemen, not supposed to hit. You're not supposed. You're not, to hit of course, you're not supposed to hit a fucking female, man. Yeah. You know, but, especially like that. But pick them up and like in the Asian culture, it's like kind of like. Not looked down upon, but people like mind their own business when it comes to that. Yeah, we 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 don't like that type of shit. Okay. People look at us like we stone women and we bad women. Like right, we right, love right. our That's women. What... We love our women. Isn't isn't a isn't the Quran that you have to treat your wife, the ladies? The... But that that's in every religion, though. No, no like, but we you know, we like... you know what I mean. We we into that. Like we really into that. Right. Cause I seen that Diddy shit too, and I'm just like, yeah, that was kind of crazy. But you know, that's like, yo, he pissed off some people. <coughs> he huh. pissed off the wrong people. Right. You think? Oh yeah. <coughs> he been living. You know what I mean, whatever he been doing under the roofs for so many years, they sick of tired that nigga. Right. Did you ever see him in person? Hell yeah. I just told you before I was in the room with all of the millionaires before that happened. Right, right, right. right. I was in, you know, French just got signed to Bad Boys. He was oh, always yeah. with Diddy. Oh, and yeah. I was one of I was not one of those guys, oh, Diddy around. Nobody can be. You know, I was old, I was always welcome. Right. I was like a I was like family to French. Right. So I was always there and I was always making them funny sounds and shit. So <laughs> Diddy, like, yo, it's so crazy. 
Brunch come get me in the club one day, right? I was in Atlanta with this Dirk just got signed. And you was with Dirk? I was with I was with Dirk's cousin, Ikey Mikey. Little Ike, mm-hmm. one of one of his cousins, but Dirk had got into the club right. and me and Ike couldn't get in. Mm. So I went around, I went around the club, it was like a fucking gas station. Diddy has seen me. He's like, oh, what are you doing out here? Uh-huh. You feel me? He's like, oh, come on, just make, make that noise. I'm like, <laughs> He's like, what the fuck is you doing? He's coming with me. So he goes through the back. Mm-hmm. This is how I knew Dirk was real right. Dirk was leaving out. Cause mm-hmm. he didn't want to leave his cousin out there. Oh shit! And I'm walking. He like, well, I'm like, cousin with me. We good. We with Diddy, nigga. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, Diddy. You know, me took care of us. He's good. Right. In my eye, he ain't never. You know what I mean? I don't know what what's what been happening in closed doors, but Dude, that's what shout I'm out saying. to Diddy kids. You know, I don't know. I know they've been going through this a lot of shit behind that. They don't deserve none of that shit. Yeah, but you know, like one thing I want to say about Diddy's kid too, he's like, yo, GD, he said GDK too. And I'm no, like, I'm, I'm saying not just one kid. I'm, I'm talking about all of the kids. Right, got it, 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 got it. Because yeah, I was like, yeah, I was kind of like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Because I grew, like I said, I was in there with them. I know the kids. I know his, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the family, man. Because I was in that predicament with everybody, you know what I mean? Was pointing hands and said I was this okay. and said I was right, that. Right, you know right, I mean? right, 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 And that's the me? real truth, too. Like I said before, when I met you, like, when I met you with the Head Ice and um, mm-hmm. Math music video, I, I thought that you, in my mind, my stupid ass mind, I thought you had something to do with it, too. I'm just like, he's mm-hmm. like, and then I gave off a bandage, and like I said, I, I apologize for that too. Yeah, you good. And when you told me that story that first time, and I'm like, yo, bro, like, and then the, I was like, yo, like, how do you even have, how you motherfuckers on the internet? Shout out to Head Ice, man. He a good yeah. Harlem legend nigga right there. You right. Know, you right. know me since I was a kid. When I was working in the stores and I'm bad in the streets, shout out to Nate. He had took me one, Dumb. I was working on 146 and 8th Avenue, right? Mm. Making sandwiches. <laughs> and I was on some like 12 hour shift because my family had to eat. My family, I told you, they ain't never, you know, always had it. I was always working for other people. My father had a job in that store here working in the daytime and I work at night. And in, in the daytime, I go to school. Mm. My man Nate was outside. You know, he was homeless at the time. You know oh, what I'm saying? Shout out to Nate right now. He's good. He's running one of my stores on 144th and 8th. He got his clothing on Stacktown. What, what's know? his What's his handle? Nate. Nate the Great. Nate the Great. Yeah, his um. Oh, yeah, his, I think I heard of him. Yeah, so yeah. His, his clothing line is Stacktown. So he like yo, <laughs> he like yo, you're putting a lot of people yeah, on. So I he fuck like, with that. So he like yo, bro. He like yo, bro. Let's go to the um project. Start grabbing. He like yo, let's go to this project. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm kind of screwed. I'm tired. You know what I mean? I wanted to smoke, and this is when I started smoking. <laughs> and I went to the projects, and we went to the project. This is how I really. This is this is how I really fuck with. This is how I started really fucking with bro. You feel me? Because when I first went into the projects, we was in this guy's apartment that was like dude was a little slow in the head. He yeah. was getting checks. He had a little apartment going on. Right. They was. You know, I took over his apartment. Got it. And I'm like, damn, like, and I was also with them, but I'm like, you know, I took care of him, I brought him food, and you know what I'm saying? Slowly but surely, you know, we were selling weed out this shit, we was in the project. So, and Nate, um, uh, Duckets, my son Les Duckets is living in the second floor. We took over the whole project. Basically, we were selling weed, we was basically running it up. Duckets was running around, robbing everybody, <laughs> you heard? And Nate was out there hustling, and I'm like, they fired me out that store, on 146. Why? Because I wasn't coming to work no Got more. It. You know what I mean? Like I was late, whatever. Right. They kicked me out, right. and I'm like, "Fuck it, I'm hustling the project. I'm getting double, triple the money they was paying me. So Got I was it. giving my family the money, like whatever I was getting paid in the store. Right. Leave me alone. Let me be in the street. Long as they was getting paid, that's yeah, I'm gonna tell you about yeah. the Arabic family, bro. As long as you, <laughs> as long as you giving them money, they don't give a fuck what you're doing. That's in the a whole streets, Asian family too. It's so like, yo, so now I'm giving them the money. So now I'm in the projects. I'm living in there, so I'm like, I found my cousin that owned a store on 40th, so I started working in there a couple hours, and you know what I mean? I'm like, I might as well yeah, work now hours. I'm hustling, so right. I might as well- That hustle before. mentality, right. So now, um, my son, Duckers, gets locked up, because he was running around robbing niggas, he got locked up for a gun or whatever, okay. you feel me? So now, I'm out there by myself. I'm Now I got the whole building. The fourth floor, I took care of the whole, that 
that spot. <laughs> the nigga, I started paying him. I took care of him. He went to his family. So I ran the spot. We was getting money. Right. One day I was wheeling on the bike right across the street from that building. Uh -huh. I get hit by a truck. Uh, broke my leg in half. You oh heard? My. So my leg was broken done. in half. It was done. So oh it, I thought it was over. So I go to the hospital. They put my shit together. They put me right back. Now I got the wheelchair. I'm William. Right back to William. <laughs> Now I got a lawsuit for a million dollars. None of you motherfuckers can stop me. I was just <laughs> fucked up living in the projects, <laughs> taking care of my family. You feel me? So now, yeah, I'm, you know, I was, I was, I, I was bad. I was in the streets. I right. was fucking with all the hustlers. I was right. gambling. I, I had a black girlfriend. I was living in, in that Fine. building. You feel me? Her mom was a correction officer, so <laughs> I had a good. So we was yeah. running around. She was the. She was gambling. So we was running around everywhere. We was. Cause she had a good hand. I had right. the money. You know, right. I had the wheelchair. I had, the, you know, what I mean, I was, I was situated. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I got oh, out the it's wheelchair. Like a movie, yeah, so bro. I got out the wheelchair. So I'm good. So yeah. she fake broke up with me because I was working and she wanted to live her life or whatever. Got I'm it. like, damn, you gonna break up with me now? I'm about to get a main knowledge. You fucked up in the head. You right. fucking out. But she wasn't doing it for that. She was, you feel me? Right, right, I'm like, right. And then she turned out to be gay. <laughs> then, then, then my man, my man end up coming home. Now I'm about to get this lawsuit. I mean, Duckets came home. You feel me? Right. When he come home, I ain't had the money at the time. You feel me? So he come home on his bullshit. He fucked up. He robbing everybody in Harlem that got Still? money. Yeah. After he came home. After he came home. So he was robbing. Now he's now now the game got bigger now. Everybody got yeah, more money. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? So right. he's seen everybody got jewelry, whatever oh the case God. was. So he robbing them. He robbing everybody. And I linked up. I linked up with Max before that happened. Before this nigga came home. I was fucking with Max as a security. I'm going to CT, all type of bullshit. Then I linked up with French. Then we got to be, that's how I met so up So you with met up with Max first? Yeah, Max was from my block, 141st, OFO. Matter of fact, this, now the store, I left 146. Yeah. That's my store right now. Right. I got I got this store for 15 years lease. Oh, shit. So now that's, I used to work in there and make 500 a week, 12 hours. Now it's mine. Five. On 41st, where I got hit by a truck, yeah. I got a store right there across the street from that building where I used to hustle at. Right. You feel me? That's why I told you. Everywhere I lived at, I got the store. So, right. now, so now after the situation with Chinks, I moved to 13th, and now I got a store on 13th. You feel but, me? Yeah. And so well, how did you meet Max? Like I told you, one of the one of the, I was gambling with uh, with my ex or whatever, mm -hmm. and God always see mm -hmm. me that I was, you know, like I was like, I looked like a good kid, but I was not. I was with everything. So right. like, now nah, we need this kid to go on the road with us because he was max security. Right. So I started going on the road with them, chilling, smoking regular shit. You know what I mean? Fine. Then we went to the studio. We had met up with French. I'm chilling, smoking with his brother. You know that he's Arabic. We found out he was Moroccan. You know what I mean? We clinked up. Right there. It was over, so you know what I mean. Like now, I got the lawsuit. Nobody can't stop me. Now I'm in the loop. Yeah. Now I'm in the loop, loop with, the, with the lawsuit. With the, the lawsuit. lawsuit. So now, and I got the goons. Right. The niggas yeah. that's out there robbing niggas that's right. out there doing shit. I'm mm -hmm. out here with a million dollars, and the niggas that's out there hungry is robbing everybody else. But I'm out here with them. Right. So now the niggas see like, oh, the, that's the Yemen cheese nigga that be with the niggas that robbed me. So I'm out here with French from clubs, you know. I'm you said that robbed me. So who did they rob? I'm like Duckets. Robbed was I robbing know. mad niggas. Yeah. So they like, you know, they don't see Duckets, they see me. Got but they're it. like, oh, that's the nigga that be Got with the nigga that robbed. <laughs> so he robbed about ten or oh, seven of their niggas. You feel oh me? Oh my god. And I'm in the club with French Montana. And mind you, French Montana had beef with the dipset at, the, at that time. Jim Jones was there. The niggas, my man Rob was there. I'm in there like, I ain't robbed nobody. I'm good. I'm going in the club. I'm going in there. Mind you, at the time, nobody was cashing out on no 10,000 in singles. And yeah, I had told a lawsuit. That story. So I'm throwing all type of fucking money. French little brother looking at me like, yo, everybody's looking at us. We out. We get leaves out the club. I get a French car. And I'm like, the fuck, I'm jumping in French car, bro. I got my own car. I called my peers. Yo, they around the corner. I gets out the car. Some blood that bitch walked up to me. She's like, I don't know who you got, people mad, but watch out. Mad people started jumping me. I out of jumped, nowhere. Out of nowhere. So my what man, the, the, the niggas that he robbed started jumping me all crazy. Uh, Somebody come behind me and sliced me from here to here. Then the No, niggas, they didn't. Yeah. So, so one of the guys I was, you feel me, that knew me, whatever. 
started shooting at the crowd and I get shot up. I get shot right here. I get shot right here. So now look, oh I just God. got hit by a truck not too long ago. My <laughs> leg is broken. My right side, you look, my right side is broken. Yeah. I got hit in the shoulder. On the right side. Yeah, on the right side. I got cut on the right side. Oh my. And I got shot in the hips on the right. My, so my whole right side is done. Damaged. Right. Oh so and the niggas my. that got, did that got hit too. So I so I'm running to the shooter and he drove off. And I seen the car that's double parked. Shout out to Coke Boy Mitch. He took me to the um he took me to the hospital. I got in the car. I just met him that day. I'm like, yo, bro, you were just smoking in the club when we take me to the hospital. He like, yo, bro, I, 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 I know nothing, bro, because he had a um, he had a warrant or whatever. Right, he was so on he, a he run. Was sure. He was yeah. on a run. Right. Whatever. I'm like, yo, bro, just take me to the hospital. The hospital that we were supposed to go in was like a couple blocks away. But everybody that got shot went, went to the there. hospital. Yeah. So we went to a whole different hospital. Like, wow. And I end up getting he dropped me off in a. I was good, so that's why when I got shot up with Chinks that day, like I got shot before, I ain't panicked or you didn't give me the rush, so I knew. Like, but on the on, on the thing, they're like, yo, then then you, like I said, I I, I read every yo comment, bro, right? and yo, they bro, said that when you I got, panicked after, but then you didn't say that you panicked after. Look, no, no bro, and I'm like, I, motherfucker, nigga, of course I he's gonna. Pan, look, I panicked because I didn't know what to do. Like, uh, like what right. the fuck, I'm stuck. The car is on, like the car is on the side. It stopped. So I'm like, he's on top of me. You feel me? So I'm like, damn. So I had to push him off me and like move the um the wheel so the car could drive because it's on drive already. So I drove the car. Like I had to look up and drive, look oh up and drive. My. And I seen mad lights. I'm like, I yeah. turn, boom, still driving. Right. Left to hit a car, 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 car. That's how I stopped. Got right. out. Like I tried my best. But if I was from Queens, I would have drove to the hospital. The shoot, three blocks away. Wow. No. I was just in his uh, lighting candle. Oh, a couple you went days there? Ago. Yeah. Oh, oh, at uh, at the Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, wow. that's the spot. That's like yeah. that's my day. I went over there. Like that shit. Wow. And when I, when I went, that shit felt like yesterday, man. Shout out to his family. Shout out to his they mom. She couldn't make it. Not oh. his, his family was there, but his mom couldn't make it. Right. But she's like she fake loved me. Like she always like looked for me and like she called everybody. Yo, did they make it? Cause I always go there. And I show my support and love and make sure she's good. Cause I know a lot of people don't, you know what I mean? Like people forget, people forget, you know, then people die and people forget about they loved ones. You know what I'm saying? hundred percent. So, you know, but you she never know, did. Nah, she know I'm not. So she looking for me. She's like, I know you haven't come in, you know what I'm saying, to see me. So. Yeah, nah, that's fire, man. Yeah, I'm with the CLT to care about rest in peace, change drugs. I see his wife after his kids. Oh, you did? How they do? They do good. Everybody happy, man. Right. Everybody enjoying life, man. Shout out to Chinks Drug. Shout out to the whole Coke boys, man. Right. I hope everybody doing what they doing. I'm doing what I'm doing. Right. It's all love. You right? Oh, and in, in the lighter side of things, they said that you look like uh, that guy. Sure, sure. <laughs> oh, he looked like me. <laughs> Don't forget the hello. Don't forget you're the best. Yeah, like, like, yo, and then they're like, I've been out like for a minute. It's just like, you know, TikTok, yeah. know people viral, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people think that. I mean, it's a lot of people that don't, they know they're older. They, they probably doing the same thing. Like, oh, you look like Kim Chi. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know that for a fact. Right, right. <laughs> and it's so crazy. That's my boy's cousin. My oh, boy that for real? For me. Yeah, like, I think that he was on the phone. I told him to send him the address. Huh. And that's his cousin. You know, we all. Yeah, connected so, so yeah, connected. Mm. Right. Shout out to him. No, he's doing his damn thing, man. He's making us look good. Right. And I ain't no hater, bro. A lot of niggas, like, back in the days, you know, they see Arabs and they see their own people doing good and they outside the box, they hate it. But right now, the, the culture Same thing different. with the Asian culture, too, before. Yeah, but, but it's right not now, like that. Yeah, right. it's not like that right now. Right, right now, is, you, know, the, you know what I mean? A lot of people is on social media. that are utilizing TikTok. Then, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can't being, hate. He's been yeah, working. I, and I'm not mad. And I, and I love that because I've been doing that shit for years. I know his struggle. Nigga, I done made chopped cheese. I done made all type of cheese. And I didn't get a dollar out the cheese, <laughs> nigga. No, but I did, though, because I got all of these stores and like I learned, right. like I told you, I gotta have the knowledge. Like I right. was there, I seen it, I seen how my cousins work, I seen how my bosses work. You feel me? I seen what's going on. So I, it's different now, right? Yeah, like so right now, like, from since you so you've been in the so game yeah, for so and, long, and it's like I know what they don't know. So I, I like I, I get like I gather their knowledge with my knowledge, and you feel me? 
and make it bigger than like right now my spot on 46 that shit does look like some downtown shit my shit 46 and what 146 and 8th avenue oh shit A&H organic grow made like that shit oh that, that's where you at I got oh, the, 46 yeah, and 8 that's one of my stores oh shit you could catch my boy on um, Chopped Cheese King and right then. by Drew yeah exactly that's what I'm trying to tell yeah. you my whole spot is from Drew it's from 155th all the way to 110th you feel me that's like where I grew up at and that's where I always you know I moved around cause I got family that right. own the spots Friends that own stores, they want me there because you know I speak English. I'm good with the community. And then, like I mean, you said, they, you saw Head Eyes too. Yeah, you know, Head Eyes. I told you the Head you, Eyes, Murder Moon, T Rex. Did you see any battles like Hell live? Yeah, years? I was in there. If you could look back what? in the days, I was in all the battles. So Which battle? Old, I was on mad old battles. No, I, you was. I swear to God, I was. I don't got to mad battles. I don't even know the name because they came to my block. They shot a battle on 150th of McCombs. He shot a battle video on uh, one uh, where the DVD place at 129th and 8th Avenue on 28th. I think the DVD the place Black Star? used to be the year. Shot wild shit. I was just, you know, that's yeah. part of Harlem. You know, I know. I know. Harlem and I like, forgot so much because I told you. Who, I didn't, who do you I, think is your favorite, like to you? It's like, yo, who's the best battle rapper in Harlem? To me? Yeah. I'm going to keep it real. My aunt. Who? The big homie, nigga. Who you think? Loaded Lux. Lux. That's, that's the big homie right there. Like, Loaded. I respect that nigga. Salute to you, big homie. Beloved. Yo, beloved. beloved. Everything healthy. Everything healthy, beloved. <laughs> that nigga always show support. You feel me? Yeah. He show support. He come to my spot, show me support all the time. Man, Loaded Lux. He's Lorded Lux, man. Yeah, shout out he, to he my great. guy, man. He shout out to all my Harlem real rights, man. Facts. Really shit, though, y'all know, like that. King y'all, of know Harlem y'all know, right y'all know, here. y'all know who y'all are, man. If I don't, you know what I mean, if I don't say y'all name, man, y'all know who y'all are, man. Right. My real right, my real right, Harlem niggas from uptown to downtown, the east side to the west side, nigga. Uh, you heard? Facts, yo, I love Harlem, man. Word, Harlem, yo, they got so much history, bro. Like Harlem is dope. Yo, speak of Harlem, Dooley. Yo, Yo Dooley's the man, bro. Dooley. Yeah, that shit fucked me up, though, after I got shot after that club, bro. You feel me? Because my family thought it was over. Like, damn, they just... I got what shot. club? It was Club 11 in, in the Bronx. You know... You but know, then, was, then you got shot after that, too. Then I got shot after that. Fuck. You feel me? Like, but... Damn, bro. But, like, my yeah. family looked at me like, yeah, yeah, this game is over. Like, this music shit, this industry shit is not for you. You feel me? Like, right. you ain't getting nothing out of it. You just you just being around these niggas and you spending money. You the guy that's spending the money. You're bringing all your friends around. Your friends is the protection. They're using your friends for protection. All that in the industry costs money. So, you're basically bringing everything to the table. And, look, you got kicked out, like, just like that. And wow. That shit made sense, too, because... It was always telling me, and I was not, nah, nah, nah. We got, you know what I'm saying? It's always, nah, we're going to take care. They're going to do some shit. They got to wait for me, you feel me? And I don't know what the, what their plan was, but it was, I don't think they had no plan for me, you feel me? Like, I was basically the skit guy. I was doing skits. Mm. If you look at French Montana's old mixtapes, I was doing skits. I was doing all type of fucking sound effects and right. shit I was on I'm on right now I'm on Little Dirk's intros every time he perform you oh, hear my shit. shit we on our OTF shit you heard hello thank you come again fire that's right now any show he go to he play my shit fire but, you know what I mean like I'm alright you feel me like I ain't even at the end of the day like Nah, I'm like, somebody I, in that industry. I'm just nah, not I think you're gonna spin it. back. You're gonna yeah, spin back. I'm not you're utilizing spinning back. it. Like, and like you me? said, like TJ said, Porter, you yeah. had the door with the TJ Porter. It's about to be some shit, but like like I told you, I wasn't utilizing it, but now I'm trying to get like I'm gonna at the end of the day, they owe. So I gotta get with whatever is mine. You know what I'm saying? So right. I gotta get back in the game. You, you at you the end to. of the day. And then you did the side talk too. So I'm like, oh shit. Like, yeah, he back. And at the end of the day, the um the, like I got something backing me down. I'm not just focused just all oh, eye right, this music shit or this industry shit. Nigga, I got businesses, you feel me? And I'm gonna get more businesses. That's just something that's there and that's gonna That's build. in you. Yeah. That's and what I, Yeah, and it's not it's just me. Yeah. It's not like I'm not just just being me, you feel me? I'm gonna right. get the money off that because at the end of the day, I done almost died for this shit almost hell, twice. Hell yeah. And bro. I deserve some of that some of that money, you feel me? Like I deserve some of that industry money. And I, to me, though, for you, even I feel though, like... Even though I'm blackballed, like even, I said, no, even though I feel come like, back yo, in the industry, th- you got to have some type of money. To me, 
even if you don't, you're going to have like a dually that could make it. You're going to have somebody that's always around. You, you, yo, bro, I really believe. Yeah, and, then they, and then it's going to come back to you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Like I, I God, yeah, God got a plan. And if for it everybody. don't, like, and like I said, like you got your I kid. Got plan B, and I got like I told you, I got my plan. That's not like in the, the end or back be in all. the day. That's why I'm trying to tell everybody else, just like it's not an end or be all yeah, for you. Don't make, don't make, like, don't make rap in this and anything. Don't just make it rap. Don't make it just for your, your all. Oh, this is what's gonna get me out the hood. No, you gotta have a plan B, plan C. Don't mm-hmm. just think that because if that don't work out, you gotta always have some type. And even though to get in the industry, you gotta have some type of income to even make it. Cause you're gonna have to need all of these people to get in you gotta their spend. pocket. You gotta spend. You feel me? A lot of people gonna spend their money, and they're gonna want to get in your pocket because they spend their money. Right. So if, in order to come in the game, you gotta have your money. So you gotta have. You gotta work for your money. You gotta take care. Of what you gotta take care, of and then come in the game. And you ain't gonna need nobody. You just gonna need the. You feel me? Utilize what you got. Right. Shit like that. Bow. Alright. Bitch, I'm on demon time. Dude, you finished your blunt already? Yeah. Damn. Damn. Damn, Dooley. Yo, Dooley, are you good? Yeah. Nah, thank you for pulling up, Dooley. Nah, I appreciate you, Dooley. I'm a big fan of your shit, bro. Keep on doing it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure, you know, listen to listen to Yemen, man. And came stop a, talking came, shit about it. Came bro. a long way. Stop talking shit about it. All right. I'm gonna send them goons. I know you live at. You know I know where you live at, right? Nah, he ain't sending no goons. He what? loves you. I'm sending them goons out. Oh, matter of fact, the what? funniest shit that happened. What? Nah. Nah, what? No. Yes. I just remember. Tell me. Word to everything I love. This is the funniest shit in the world. What? This it doesn't have to do with Yes. Movies? And this shit went viral. This shit what? had millions and millions and millions of views on what? Warstar. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking Yo, about. Yo, Dooley went viral a couple times on Warstar. Oh, he did? Yeah. Do you Something know that? good and bad. Yeah. Tell him the bad one. I tell him the good one. All right. What's the bad one that you went viral on Warstar for? A girl had me jerking off and shit. And what you did? I don't want to talk about it, man. All right, so. A girl had you jerking off? Yeah. Like the girl was jerking you off? No, I was. He was on. He was You was jerking off? I was was, live. She was screen recording. She was screen recording or you was live? She was screen recording. Oh. And what she told you to do? Jerk off. And what else? And you, you ate the cum? Paul, like what? What did she make you do? Like, I don't want to talk about piss? it. Piss? Nah. All right. <laughs> I right. don't want to talk about it. He was on meds that time. No, just, te- just tell me then. I was going through it, man. <laughs> what she make you do? Just... <coughs> That all, right, we ain't gonna, all right, we ain't gonna talk about okay. that, man. We gonna yeah, talk about the other that. thing we went viral for. What? <laughs> yeah, we in the projects, right? Yeah. You know how I'm, you know I take care of Dooley, Dooley, but Dooley, a lot of people around the area now know they know Dooley viral. They utilize him, put him on Instagram, Copy. doing all that shit to I get some viewers or whatever. Right. You know he be talking. You know Dooley Jesus, he like to talk to all the girls. You heard? Right. So he's trying to holler at this girl. This girl, she's with us. You know, we know her. She's yeah. trying to. So he flying with her. He flying with her. Some nigga <laughs> came behind, told my yo, that's my sister. So that's some. He like, and Dooley, like, I don't know. He looked at him funny. That So the nigga, he bugged out. Right. The nigga grabbed Dooley behind his neck. Oh, he tried to. Tom Gold did shit and put his wrapped leg, his round Dooley. And, and just like yeah, yeah, trying yeah, to beat yeah. Dooley. I'm yeah. putting the seat out on the floor. So everybody's recording. I'm like, what the fuck? This nigga about to kill him. So I stepped on the nigga face. Like, yo, get the fuck off that nigga. Right. So when I did that, he got up. He started going in his pocket reaching. So I'm over here trying to look for something to grab to hit that nigga. And then what and happened? He, but he's running back in the projects. Uh-huh. So other niggas see him running back in the problem. We're trying to run, grab something. People was running down. Yo, what happened? I'm like, yo, this nigga trying to do something to this nigga. Anyway, make the long story short, the nigga got up out of here. Uh-huh. 
I linked up with two 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 it was it was a girl's dirty money and um and banger. Uh-huh. We was in a car. We was like, yo, we about to go run down on them niggas, bro. Uh-huh. We about to go run down. We about to go spin. Mm-hmm. Start driving. He's like, no, no. <laughs> like, yo, we about, about to give you the shit. Put your hoodie on. Put your hoodie on. Yo, dude, you ain't ready to ride? What? That nigga started panicking. He started biting his hand. Started crying. That nigga about to bite his whole thumb off. Yo, dude, why are you not ready to ride? Nah, I got to show. Let me see. Look why? Video. I don't that's... like that kind of stuff. Right. Nah, that's what? good. That's good. That's good. Nah, nah, that's good. I respect that. Seen I respect that face, about though. you. That was the that was the I respect that shit a lot about you. Him, you that's good. That you're like, nah, I'm good. You walk away from that. You heard? Fuck that. You walk away. Right by the way, you heard? You you don't need drama in your life. You're too old for that. You're a grown man now, bro. You heard? Walk away from that shit. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Yo, Dooley, tell me a funny story though. Like, like, like you don't you you don't got like funny stories. I went viral a couple of times. For what? Another one. I had a thousand dollars one time and and I blew it. <laughs> On what? Dumb shit. Like what? Weed and stuff. Weed. Yeah. And food. What kind of food? McDonald's. McDonald's. McDonald's shrimps. <laughs> Tacos. <laughs> yo, like, yo. So if you go to McDonald's, what would you order? Three cheeseburgers and 20 piece nuggets. That's it. Three cheeseburgers and 20 piece nuggets. What sauce? Sweet and sour. Ew. You like the sweet and sour sauce? Yeah. You want to see that shit? Yeah. He had the <laughs> yo, my man had the camouflage jacket on. That shit was fire too. My man had the camo jacket. He was ready to slide. He was about to. No, look, you about to see right now. He about to panic. He ain't panic yet. Oh, he did. He ain't panic yet. Don't me. Don't have me panic. He about to. Look, don't have me panic. No, I see. No, I think I see. I seen it. Hey, play. <laughs> no, I see. It. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you look going crazy. Yeah, dude. Nah, you know, like a lot of people too, like when I when I when I've been uh, going to the to the stores, the Akis, they they all like, yo, you did the interview with um Yemen. Yeah, man, hello. I was like, your oh cousin. shit. Yo. Yeah. Everybody said that they were your cousin. Yo. Maybe your cousins. That's fine though. They looked out too. Shout out to the Ox, man. Yeah. They looked out too. Yo, dude, you putting too much grabber, dude. Holy shit. Nigga, that's the whole bag in three blunts. I wrote 10 blunts or more with that boy. <sighs> no, you don't. Yo, I seen you put mad grabber. No, this different grabber. He got the hot grabber. Oh, my shit is organic. It's oh, it's different? Yeah, my oh. shit is organic. Even What's like, the difference? It's like, shit, shit they, that shit sprayed. I don't know what they got in that shit. My shit is like organic. It's just crunched up. They take the, you know, it's not. It's not gonna punch hard, harder than that shit. Damn, Dooley's a pro now. Yeah, that shit punch. That shit punch. Dooley's when a I pro. roll up a blunt with that, I gotta put a little bit. Oh my god! Oh, he rolled a blunt nice this time. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! But you know, uh, like I held my head high and I took care of my business and I took care of my family. And even though when I was fucked up, I always found a way to take care of my family. 
Mexico. You know what I mean? Even though the because your family took care of you too, I did. I felt like you had like a strong. I don't know, like, like your I family told you, history. Like, like, I just I, felt like because like, like, you showed no, like, shout like, out to your like, father no. too. So yeah, I'm like, like damn. No, shout like, out to my father, but like yeah. I told you, we was in in the predicament for my family to look out for me. I was the man in the house, even though I was a child. I didn't have no big brother. No, oh shit! So like my family was unwealthy. Like my family's family was wealthy. So I had to still work for them and kiss their ass. They're not gonna give you nothing. They're gonna Hell be, no. they're gonna downfall you, even though like you're better than them. You're in the whatever. worst Listen, position. Yeah, because now look, I'm I'm the dude that's with these Americans. I'm in the street and I don't really got it like them. That's to say, oh, I got a store. My my father got a store. My father ain't never had a store. Like I couldn't say like I had to work for the. For these young, you know what I mean? And I never had like, be, being like my family or the people, the Arabs had their own shit. So I couldn't really hang out with them because I couldn't relate to them. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Because these niggas going to throw that shit in my face. They got this, they got that. They, and I'm over here fucked up living an American life. So I'd rather chill with the American people so they can't judge me. Even though the Americans will judge me, but they can't judge me. Like, it's not going to hurt like my family. You feel me? It's Damn. not going to hurt like how your That's family going to do it. That's deep. So I choose to stay with the with the Americans and socialize and do business and you know it worked out for me at the end of the day. That shit like, hurt. So now the you know what I mean like the 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 people that was doubting me and just because I was smoking weed and I was chilling with the Americans and that was my way to make money and that was my path. Now they look at it like now it's an opportunity for them. Like damn, we doubted this nigga for even smoking weed or selling weed, but now we all doing this shit. So now they all kiss ass because now they look. You no, know, we was just shitting on this dude because even though I was, I take care of my family and did everything I had to do, they was just doubting me and just like making a bad name for me just because I was selling weed or just because I was smoking weed <laughs> or just because I was around the people that smoked weed. That was just a bad thing. But as soon as yeah, they making money, too. Man, as soon as too. they making money out of it, oh, now it's all good. Now so they turn it. It's like U turn. So I'm like, so I'm used to people doing that to me, God. doing U turn. So God. my own people did the U turn. God. So now I gotta utilize it. Don't don't catch feelings like oh nah fuck it now you want to do the U turns now yeah, you felt that street. before exactly. So when I you, you live and you learn. So when I felt that before, so I'm like fuck it. I'm gonna help them to because this That's is dope. I live this shit. I did you know what I mean? Y'all want my help here? And then at the long run, I helped and I utilized my name and I got fucked over. Wow. You feel me? But I still smart at the end of the day. Like I didn't give a fuck about. I knew in the long run. And with these, with these, with the what I was doing with these smoke shop shits, it's not. It wasn't gonna be forever. You feel me? I knew I gotta. You feel me? Build some shit and build a foundation, and then right. get my shit together because I know it legit. If I open up a dispensary, I wasn't gonna make no money. I was gonna lose, and I was just gonna owe the government money because every mm -hmm. fucking store got fucking smoke everywhere. Every two block radius, every block radius got smoke, and I got the dispensary, and I can only sell weed. I can't sell no tobacco. I can't sell no roll ups. I can't sell the juices. Got I can only it. sell that. So now the customers, you'd rather go to one stop shop or get one and get taxed. I'd rather get the, you'd rather get the $20 ape or you want to go to the dispensary, spend $60 plus tax. Facts. And, you know what I mean? And, and then you, so I'd rather not lose. So I took the opportunity. So wow. I'm like, and I knew it wasn't going to be there forever. So I knew, but they don't know that. Right. But, you know what I mean? So I opened. So now the people that open up 10, 20, 15 of them shits, now they all fucking closed and fucked up in there because now they don't got the, they thought they was going to always get the revenue. They didn't think about What's gonna happen in the future? Mm -hmm. So, shout out to them. I hope they learn now. Shit like that. <laughs> shit like that. All right. Yeah. You, you all right, dude? Yeah. The chair was hurting me. <laughs> nah, okay. Yeah. Big dude. Nah, you're good. Big dude, right? Yeah. Nah, I appreciate y'all pulling up, man. Like I said, bro. Like, nah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do me. Yo. My God. Nah, I appreciate you for pulling up, bro. Yo, you... Oh my God, fucking dude. Make sure you do right by fucking Yemen, you heard? All right. Good luck. <laughs> nah, no luck. He got it. Dude, he got it. Good luck by doing good by Yemen. I hope you do got it. Let's get Are it. Wrapping it up? 
Let's go. Thank you. Is that nigga down. Dooley G's it's on that, everything? It's that, it's Hello. That, it's that nigga Yemen Cheese. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Come again. Gang, get right gang, or get left. Gang. Huh? You know that shit. Don't get left trying to get right. Because I seen a lot of niggas get left. For trying to get right <laughs> And I ain't trying to be one of them You dig me? And if you uh, dig me Get a shovel and start digging a nigga graveyard Hello, Hello.